Hello and welcome to another video. Now, the lighting won't be that good for today's video because my mom is in a meeting. Luckily, I was able to get the uh, lovelier microphone. However, I uh, decided not to get the light because that would cause a bunch of noise. So anyways, today we'll be unboxing the Google Nest Mini. As you can see, we got it in, I, th I think it's called the charcoal. I can't remember if the charcoal is this or this poorly reboxed Google Home Mini. Okay, so yeah, the charcoal is the black, so. Oh, this is the chalk. Chalk, what is this? Looks cool. Anyways, um, the reason I reboxed my Google Home Mini is because I'll be uh, just comparing it, and uh, this Nest Mini will be going in the office. Now, uh, the reason we got this is because is uh, because since we had YouTube Premium, we ended up getting a, f a free one because of it so uh, anyways as you can tell this box was quite a bit taller but it's almost half as thin it's about two-thirds as thick and they're about the same width um, so also that loud noise was this. So anyways, let's open this. This time the cutting is nowhere n oh, wait. I was about to say it's nowhere near as satisfying as this headphones one, but it's just because it's just on this side because of the sort of gap there. So, first let's open this up, similar to an apple box. And this is the first thing you see. Now in the uh, previous generation, which you can, as of this recording, I'm pretty sure you can get it for the exact same price as the Nest made just because this is normally this is ten dollars cheaper than this, but right now this is twenty dollars off and this is ten dollars off, so you can get them both for the same price. So you might as well get the newer one. Anyways, um, the old one had a flap, and uh, so this is a new one. On this one, the entire bottom half is rubber instead of just this bottom part, like this, these sides are rubber. The button is plastic, or not the button, the switch. And this has a wall mount. I'm not sure if we're going to be using this or not. So as you can see, the previous generation had a separate rubber foot and this is all plastic. And uh, here's the which again, the uh, Google Home Mini has a micro USB port, and uh, this one just has like a sort of wall plug, a barrel plug. Now, these are actually basically the same piece, so they're slightly different because this they fit around the plugs better. And uh, yeah, they're basically the same piece. Um, ooh, this one is slightly different. Uh, there you can see my poor coiling of the cable. So these are slightly different. 
I'm not going to go through these because it's very basic. Um, so, then this is a completely different title. Um, And uh, when I first saw this, I was thinking, did this predict the future? But no, it's just safety and warranty information. And this one is just, I don't know, just, I don't know, I can't tell if just everyone does this. I don't remember. I know Microsoft does this with all their Xbox stuff. Anyways. Here's the charging cable. This is a just a standard five watt plug, except you can't take the cable out. And with this, now the new one is very has a very slightly bigger power supply. However, it is way heavier. Not way heavier, but it, it's... This one's pretty light. It's like the weight of a standard 5 watt power supply. But this this is about double that. And uh, here's that plug. Let's talk about... I don't really like how they... Wrapped this. Or, okay, it's supposed to be like that. Also, they slightly changed this. Not sort of like a sort of wrapping around thing before it's just a clip. Anyways, let's uh, clear all this stuff away and uh, plug them in. Okay, both. Uh, yeah, those are now plugged in to a power strip in a sort of little shelf area under the desk. So let's just plug these in. And uh, while these are being set up, I need to get my tablet because I'm going to have to use my uh, iPad for this because uh, my iPad is holding my phone up yet again. So I'm going to go get that while these power up with the microphone. To get started, download the Google Home app on a phone or tablet. Okay. There we go. Um, let's get my iPad. I'll start a screen recording for you. So what we're going to do is we're going to open the Google Home app. Oh, there it is. I'm going to have to blank that out. And there we go. It's very that was very weird. Um, there we go. I'm gonna turn off the light so uh, you can see the these lights better. Uh, speaking of lights, I'm gonna. This device isn't set up yet. To get started, download the Google Home app on a phone or tablet. The mic's off. Uh, turn off the light. Okay, there we go. The mic's back on. Okay. Uh, yeah, I guess. Okay, so this will go in the office.
Okay, uh, next, yes, okay. Okay, so I'm assuming the reason we had to set that up again is because there's a uh, sort of, I guess you could call it, I don't know, a neural learning chip, I, I forgot, neural something, neural engine, neural learning something, uh, so... I'm assuming that's why we need to do that again. We have Sirius XM, but I don't know the password. Uh, I don't know. I, I'm assuming YouTube TV is just connected by default. I have YouTube TV, but it wasn't showing up. Uh, no. Okay. Um. Oh, okay. <coughs> I already know that. I guess we could go through it. So yeah, this has a, a feature. I don't know if the Google Nest, the Google Home Max has it, but I know the original Google Home has it because I have one, and uh, just has a center tap. Um. Change volume, this one has lights for the volume buttons, so you can find them more easier, or easily. The mic, the mic's back on. Okay. Hi, I'm your Google Assistant. I'm here to help. To learn a few things you can do, continue in the Google Home app. I already did that, uh, let's just rename this. Um. Okay, um, no, we can't set the Xbox as a TV, um, just put this on for now. The reason I don't have the uh, sound set on this one is because, uh, here, I'll show you, I uh, have it sort of jammed up here so I can see the lights and see what goes on. Um, we used to have all of the Google Home devices do that, but now it's just my sister's because you can also see the uh, living room Google Home uh, pretty easily. So I turned that off too. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting that the uh, ultrasonic thing is only when it's playing music. So, that is why we're now going to play some. Let's compare the audio. Now this has the uh, equalizer of the bass set all the way up. Thank you. 
Pessoal. So even at a low volume, you can tell that the bass is a lot better. Actually, let's zoom this one. The mic's back on. There we go. Okay. Yeah. So it only works while it's playing music and not uh, muted. Okay, anyways, that'll be it for this video. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.